Hello, my loves. Welcome to your um, love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs uh, for June 2020. Now, guys, I say June 2020 because I'm making the video in June 2020, but really time isn't linear, so these really can resonate at any point in time, okay? Um, so uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, this is a channel for Cancerians only. Cross watchers are welcome, obviously. Um, if you are interested in viewing other signs, um, uh, me reading other signs, you can go to my other channel, Tarot of Light. The link is in the description box below, okay? So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my cancers, please? June 2020, clarity, guidance, what love messages, what advice do we have for my cancers today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, crystals, dragon's blood incense, which is amazing for clearing negative energy. Um, I give away NIV version Bibles, um, the large print. They're great for Bible study, okay? Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post, especially on this channel because it is very new. So you will not see these readings popping up. So you have to click that notification bell if you want to know um, when a reading is posted. Right now, I'm going to be posting about every day on this channel, okay? So click that notification bell so you know when those readings post and when the winners are announced, okay? To enter the giveaway, it's very simple. Just drop a comment. Let me know what you're manifesting. Let me know what it is that you would want to win okay um let's see here i think that's it okay i don't think we have anything else um all right my loves so let's get into your pre-shuffle message so cancer this could be your energy it could be your person's energy you take it as it resonates okay uh, obviously you know take take what's yours and leave the rest it is a general reading um all right, so guys, I feel like we have somebody coming in here wanting to reconcile. Uh, your, de your defenses are way up with this person, okay? Somebody here has their defenses way up, okay? They are fully aware that this person is uh, very capable of playing some very, very serious mind games, okay? But this person is patient, okay? They are patient. They are going to chip away and chip away and chip away and take their time, okay? They're going to try to take their time to chip away at you, but I feel like your guard is up hardcore, okay? Hardcore. Um, I feel that, um, I feel like this is like a ball and chain or a burden that you've released a long time ago, um, and I, I, you don't really want to deal with it again, but I feel like this person, um, they're chipping away to the point where they may tear your walls down a little bit, Cancer, okay? And it may it may shock you by how patient this person is. Um, you don't want to open up to this person. You really don't even want to talk to them because I feel like you're still healing from the, the, the manipulation, the emotional manipulation that they put you through, okay? I feel like you're still healing from it, um, but they are going to try to chip away at you. So we have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Um, now the Queen of Wands is very confident. The Queen of Wands knows what she's doing. When the Queen of Wands wants something, plain and simple, she gets it, okay? Now this person may be coming in, guys, because you are in Queen of Ma Wands mode. Maybe, you know, you're looking really sexy, looking really confident, looking look just all put together, you know what I'm saying? You're healed, you're shining, you're just, you know, the Queen of Wands, when she walks into the room, uh, you can't miss her, you understand? So, <clears throat> so let's see which way this is going. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please? So we've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I feel like this is somebody that you really, really, really loved at one point in time. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers here, please, spirit? Action. So this person is coming in trying to, yeah. This is somebody that you loved, but you had to walk away from, or somebody that you loved and walked away from you, and now they are coming in. They are rushing in like a bat out of hell. 
Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please, Spirit? A consciousness of lack. I feel like this person is going to tell you that they miss you, okay? But I feel like you're also worried that this person is going to achieve uh, deceiving you again, hurting you again, manipulating you again. You're still stuck in that victim mentality. You're still stuck in the fact that this person has the ability to hurt you. Um, you know what the, the damage that they can cause and you're scared of it. Okay, whoa, good Lord. Way too many cards, sir. I feel like you're scared of it. In, in a way, you're actually scared of how this person um, was able to hurt your life, okay? And these pink cards, they're real. I, I don't use them that often because they, they do not sugarcoat anything. Like, they're clear as day. So let's see. So let's see what the tarot has to say, shall we? Let's start here. So we've got the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Four of Swords. All right. Now, this could be an energy of you may have been married to this person. You may have shared financial assets with this person. Uh, maybe you worked with this person. But with that Four of Swords, this is the level of needing to heal from this. So maybe you guys are working too much and you're tired. Or maybe you guys are trying to you know, work on your abundance while healing. We've got the Page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Seven of Swords. So I feel like as you guys are healing from, you know, maybe losing this Ten of Pentacles or from building your Ten of Pentacles, either or, we have an apology coming in here about lying, cheating, deception, um, Two of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So I feel here that you are obviously blocking this person, okay? You are obviously guarding your heart from this person, Um I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles there, I feel like a lot of you are doing very well right now, okay? You're very grounded, very stable, standing on your own. <coughs> Regardless if you have a lot of money or not, it's just like you're very like, you're okay by yourself right now. You're just, oh, you're good, you know? And with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, I feel like this person has hurt you a lot. Your, your guard is up and I feel like there's a fear of what does this person want? What are they really up to, okay? I'm telling you, I get a sense of like, some of you are literally scared because this person was able to really hurt your life big time, okay? Now on this side here, we've got the 10 of cups and we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So what I find interesting here is that we have on top of these both here, 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Cups. So I feel that there you are, Cancer. You're you're wanting to, this person is wanting to bring love, romance, and apology here. We've got the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Oh, wow, Cancer. So this person is come. They miss your love, Cancer. This person misses your love. They miss the way you love them. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, this person is stuck in the past. This, this person, like, hasn't had a good night's sleep since you left, okay? Like, with the Seven of Pentacles here and, and the Nine of Swords, this person... Um, yeah, I mean, that they obviously paid for their karma here because this person is realizing that they walked away from a pre-empress, uh, Virgo energy here. They realized that they walked away from like the one and with the Knight of Swords and the Lover's card, Gemini energy here, Aquarius, Libra energy, I feel like they're rushing back in towards the person that they feel is their perfect counterpart. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this, guys. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my cancers, please? Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. Okay. Yeah, see, there was a beautiful Ten of Pentacles connection between you and this person. Um, but you got shut out or they got shut out. It ended. Four of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So I feel like, you know, obviously you stopped showing this person love. You, sh you stopped moving towards them with love. Tell me about this Page of Cups. 
the four of swords again okay i feel like you haven't spoken to this person in either four years four months like i mean it's it's been a while it's been a minute okay um you're still healing from this though you're still healing from this though eight of swords and the, excuse me seven of swords and the ten of swords this person betrayed you badly this person betrayed you badly. They hurt you very, very bad. You're still healing from what this person did. Tell me about the Two of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Now they're coming in. Now they want to communicate Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot Cancerian Energy. I feel like this person wants to move towards you. Like they, There's a lot of communication coming in here, guys. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands, but they're being blocked. You're pushing it away. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands. When this person comes in to communicate, all right, so first of all, this could be two things. Either number one, this could be that this person is coming in to talk to you, <coughs> but you can't forget about the fact that they left you for another woman or another man. Or it could be that this person is coming in to talk to you and you have this appearance of being very confident, very stable, very strong, but on the inside, you're in four of swords and eight of swords mode. You're still very scared of this person and you're still in the process of healing of what this person did to you, but you're giving this appearance of confidence. Tell me about this 10 of cups. We've got... Um, the high priestess cancer piscean energy cancer i feel like you still love this person but you're not you would never say it even right now between me and you you're like no i don't <laughs> you're like no i don't but i feel like you do and with the tower here i feel like it's going to i feel like even though you're guarded against this person you're going to come to realize how much you do and it's going to be shocking Okay, it's going to be shocking. Um, the fact that this person, look at what's here, the the um, yeah, the star card and the eight of swords, you're still healing from this. You're still healing from this. The fact that this person was able to hurt you so bad it just shows how much you love this person. Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This person misses your love. This person misses your love. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Cups. Yeah, this person is looking at the past. They're remembering your love and they miss you. Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, okay? It hurts them that you're blocking them. It hurts them that you're blocking them. So they're paying their karma because they can't, they don't have access to that love anymore. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Piscean energy, uh, the hanged man. This person is having anxiety because they're feeling, I waited too long, they don't love me anymore. Nine of pentacles, the eight of cups again. Guys, we've got the eight of cups here twice, which is emotional disconnection. This person is panicking. This person is having a lot of fear because they feel like your feelings here have changed, scorpionic energy. They feel like you don't love them anymore. And why would you? It's been a long time. Knight of swords, yeah, seven of cups. You just don't understand why this person is rushing in so quickly now. That doesn't make sense. Like, I mean, it's been for some of you, for some of you, it's been a long time. This, this person has been gone a long time and now they're rushing in wanting this victory. And, and it's just like, it looks like an illusion. Like, what are you, why, what, you know, tell me about the seven of cups, the ace of swords. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't see truth here. Like, well, what is the truth? Because like, why are you here right now? Tell me about the lover's card. We've got the six of wands because you know what? This person played the field and they can't find you in anyone else. That's the problem. That is the problem here. Yeah. King of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like this person emotionally, like they went out, they party, they held back from you. They went to third party energies, but with that five of swords, either they encountered people that were playing mind games, people that left them, people that abandoned them. And they're starting to realize here with this five of swords that they cut their nose to spite their face cancer because they cannot find another person like you. They just can't find it. Okay. And I feel that that is the problem here, guys. They cannot find another person like you. So that's why it took them so long because they went and tried all the different flavors out there. And now they're coming back. Like, I know you're the one, but now is it too late? Did I lose you? Okay. So on this side here, we've got engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union and camera reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, making memories. This person is stuck in the past. This person is stuck in the past. This person is thinking of you 
or you're thinking of them. So here we have heartbreak, broken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling, loss, grieving, and mourning, keys on a ring, many options, decision, one night stand, string along. So yeah, I'm kind of getting that your energy here is that you were heartbroken that this person chose other options, okay? And this person is now thinking of you and thinking, I, the, I, I had the one, I had my diamond and I dropped it for a bunch of crack rocks. That's what I did. You understand what I'm saying? Like this person is realizing I had gold. You know what I'm saying? I gave up gold um, to, to go look at things that are just, you know, gold dipped or, or you know, it's just like they, they gave up something really special for nothing. And they're realizing that now. So someone here is thinking of you, Cancer, and you are over here heartbroken that this person just left you to go have a bunch of one night stands or to go date around or to go to someone else. So the challenge here is the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Ten of Swords. I feel here that this person hurts you so bad. They hurt you so bad. And that King of Cups is a master of his emotions. So I feel like right now you're in this energy <coughs> where you don't want to say how you feel. We've got talking, interested, conversing, more awaited messages around Drives, text, call, emails, and hovering. This person wants to talk cancer. This person wants to talk about how they hurt you. They want to talk about this painful ending. We've got the two of sword, uh, the ten of swords here twice. This could have been a nasty divorce. It could have been a nasty breakup. It was painful. Whatever it was, it was really painful. Um, we've got the four of pentacles here. Okay, we've got the star card, Aquarian energy, and we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Um, I feel here, Cancer, that you're, you're very much in this energy of holding back from this person because you're still healing. You're still healing from what this person did to you. You are still healing from what this person did to you. Yeah, see, this, you may have been married to this person, guys. Hierophant, Taurus energy here, Aries, uh, Scorpionic energy. You may have been married to this person and you found out about a third party. And now what's happening is, you know, uh, that... Yeah, now what's happening is, or it, what it could be here. Oh, I see. This is the third party. So the relationship between your person and the third party failed. And now I feel like you're holding back from this person because you feel like they're manipulative and that they're lying. You feel like, you know, yeah, this person is coming in with an apology. They're coming in with, I feel like they're coming in with truth. Okay. But this person wants victory. They want victory. I mean, we have the emperor here, the six of wands, the two of wands and the three of cups. This person isn't going to stop until they win you. This person's not going to stop until they win you. They're going to say that they regret what they did. Yeah. For some of you, it could be that your ex broke up with their person and they're coming back in. For others of you, it could just be that this person has a whole string of failed relationships. And now they're like, listen, nobody works as well with me as you did. You know, you were my perfect person. Okay. Um, so yeah. That's, you know, whether you want to reconcile with this person or not, I feel like regardless, you're still in the process of healing. And I feel like what scares you is that, you know, you're still so vulnerable because your heart is still so hurt and you're afraid of hurting even more. Okay. So, you know, be wary of that. You know, if they come in, you know, it's up to you if you want to reconcile or not, but just be wary that you are still in the process of healing. Okay. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.